So here we are in SketchUp and we're going to take this model and export it into Luminar T. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in some Luminar T content from the SketchUp Luminar T content library. So here I'm going to place a few vehicles. And these vehicles are low resolution proxies so that they work really fast inside of SketchUp. But once they're inside of Luminar T, of course, they're translated into their high fidelity counterparts. One of the nice things you can do with vehicles is that you can actually give it a, an animation path, a straight line animation path by giving it a distance and a speed. So let's take this vehicle here and name it animated space. Let's go give it 100 meters and make it 50 kilometers an hour. So now we can go ahead and let's add in a few plants. We go back into the Luminar T content library. Let's put in some palms here. So you can place these palms and of course you can use uh, all of the SketchUp uh, manipulation tools to scale and size these plants any way you like them. Let's go ahead while we're here and add in a few characters. So there's many different kinds of characters you can add and here's a set of group characters that are talking. So let's place those in here. And then once we're reasonably finished with the scene, we can go ahead and export it by simply clicking on the menu. We can either export a selected part of the scene, or in this case, let's go ahead and just select exporting the full model. So we're going to export the entire model here. It takes a few seconds, maybe as much as a minute for a large scene. And here we have our model. You'll notice I've added a few other plants in here, a few characters. I've got some moving vehicles. So now we have the start of a really interesting scene that we can share with our colleagues and clients. And that's it. Thanks for watching.